Hey guys, before I start this video, I just rewatched it while I was editing, and I just wanted to tell you guys that there are a lot of things I know that I miss during the video, okay? I'm not going over every single thing with Enhancement Shaman or Spell Hands or Shaman or anything like that in Wrath Lich King. This is just a short, well, I wanted it to be short, and it ended up longer than I wanted it to be. Um, but I just wanted a video that when people ask me what my gear is looking like, what my talents are, uh, my add-ons, anything like that, then I have this video to send them to. Um, so just keep your eyes open for a more comprehensive, in-depth video that I'll be making within the next couple weeks, which is going to be much longer. It's going to go over everything. Um, you're not going to have any questions because I'm going to try to hit everything that I can. But if this video has anything that I missed that you really want to know, you can just ask it in the comments and I can get back to you. Um, or join the Discord and ask me there. But yeah, I just want to let you guys know. So there are a lot of things I missed, but just bear with me, okay? Enjoy the video. So for gearing, this is what my current character um, setup is for Wrath of the Lich King. I've gotten a lot of really good pieces in the in the past um, couple weeks of, of raiding. But for the videos that I posted, I'm just going to replace the pieces that I kind of upgraded since then. I think it looked something like... Something like this. I think I had the two-piece. I didn't have the four-piece um, set bonus yet, which is insane. And it's just the Cataclysm four set from TBC. But it still is really good in Wrath as well. 5%. Basically 5% more haste. Um, just forever. I mean, your your up, your, your up time of Flurry is, is pretty high. Um, and then I think I had a, a few different pieces here and there. But this is kind of what I was looking like for the videos that uh, that I posted on my YouTube of. Like Thaddeus and Gluth and, and um, Anub. So I'm not going to go too in-depth about how you should gear your Enhancement Shaman in Wrath yet. Um, I'm going to save that for the more comprehensive video. But... A couple things that I just wanted to mention is that you will be wearing a spell power main hand weapon. The reason for that is because main hand weapons have a ton of spell power just statted onto them. You're not going to find any other item that has 455 spell power, 457 spell power on it. Um, the reason for that is because a lot of your damage is spells. I mean, if you look at a damage breakdown, um, anywhere from like 60 to 80% of your damage is spell power and scaling off of spell power. And the insane thing about Enhancement Shamans in Wrath is we get this ability, this talent right here, Mental Dexterity, which I think allows, is, is a big reason um, that Spell Enhancement is even, is even a thing, as well as Flame Tongue gaining spell power and Mental Quickness scaling up to 30%. I mean, there's a lot of things. I don't want to go too into it right now, but there's a lot of things that, that make Spell Enhancement even a possibility in Wrath of Lich King. So Mental Dexterity. Also, if you guys have an Enhancement Shaman in TBC right now and you plan to play Enhancement Shaman in Wrath of the Lich King, I would start looking for pieces that have Int on them. I mean, we still have a lot of time until Wrath is out, I know, but increases your attack power by 100% of your intellect. That's insane. So you get one attack power per one intellect. That's that's just an, that's just an insane talent, right? And it kind of makes you want to start gearing towards pieces like this that have agility, stam, and int. Instead of like leather pants that have just agi and stam and then attack power and crit, right? Or something like that. You're basically just, this is just 52 more attack power with the int. And just having more mana is good. 52 intellect. Um, and then increases your spell power by 30% of your attack power. So, I mean, you're triple dipping with intellect, right? You're gaining intellect for what it is which gives you mana and spell crit, which is good, right? And then you're gaining attack power per, per the intellect, so you're dipping there, and then you're dipping again by increasing your spell power by your attack power. So it's just an, it's just an absurd spec, um, and they just did a really good job when they, when they made the spec back in 2008, whenever this expansion came out. Um, everything just works well together. It just makes sense for like the shaman class, you know what I mean? Um, but before I get into talents, are you already for phase one gearing in Wrath? It's just going to be going for that four set. 5% more melee has new flurry is just insane. Um, and in terms of pieces that you want with spell power on it, it's not It's not really... You shouldn't look at it as what pieces that you want with spell power. It's making sure that you have enough spell hit um, is the main priority. The reason that, that you have spell power pieces in the slots that you do um, if you've watched other Enhancement Shaman videos, Spell Hats videos, or anything like that, um, the pieces that they recommend you 
that they recommend to you to, to have spell, pier, spell power pieces in are the pieces that are the slots that usually don't have a lot of hit tied with them, right? Um, so my hit, my, my gears all messed up, my gems are all messed up, but you want 14% hit, 14 hit as an orc shaman for spell hit. Okay, so 14% plus the 3% from the improved fairy fire from Balance Rouge and Raid or the Shadow Priest. It doesn't matter. They don't stack, so just one or the other. Um, that's going to bring you up to 17%. If you're a Draenei, I guess that's going to be 15%. Um, or what would you want? I guess you'd want 13%, right? Because then you get the 1% from the Draenei passive if you're ally. However that works, I'm not too sure. Um, but just work around that, right? The gear that I have um, that I'm currently working with, I'm at, I'm at about 14.1% hit or something, which is perfect. Um, it's a little bit too much, but that's fine. It helps you with your with your melee too. So when you're looking at hit, for Enhancer Shaman in, in, in Wrath, you want to be looking at spell hit, not melee hit. Because this is your it's, this is impossible to um to cap out, right? You're never gonna be able to have enough hit. Well, you could, but it's not worth it. The most important thing is um is your spell hit. Because you want to be hitting the lightning bolts, you want to be hitting the fire novas, you want to be hitting the shocks, you want to be hitting everything. So the pieces that you're gonna have spell power on are most likely gonna be like necklace, back. Which I still have an attack power agi haste, but this is a good cape though. It has haste. Um, just to be necklace, cape, your main hand, your rings, and then your trinkets. But meteorite whetstone is just you can't you can't beat this item. Haste is your most important stat as an enhancer shaman in Wrath of the Lich King, at least if you're playing this spec, um, or if you're playing the spec this way. Haste is just insane, and this is almost like a mini DST. Um, so yeah, so it's going to be neck, cape, main hand, rings, and trinkets. And if we wanted to go over what my current gear setup is, this is what I'm looking like right now. I have the four-piece, so 5% more melee haste than my flurry. I have blue aspect helm, which is my phase one biz helmet. This is from 25 men, Eye of Eternity. Insane, insane piece. I mean, it's just insane. It has 51 haste, <laughs> 202 attack power, a lot of crit. has all the juicy stats you need, agi, and it has everything. Okay, this is an amazing piece. Um, Ray Strike, which... Is actually pretty damn good um, in phase one. I don't know if it's phase one bis. I think um, the hammer from KT is probably better. Um, Torch of Holy Fire is probably better. Even though it has MP5, it has haste and spell power. Which, yes, this has haste too, but this just has a lot more spell power, which is just what you're looking for, right? And it's faster. Which, I don't really know the argument if you want faster or slow weapons. Um, I've talked to a lot of people about it. And I think, on P servers, at least, I don't think Flame Tongue is scaling correctly. I don't think it's working as it's as it's supposed to. Flame Tongue weapon. Um, I don't think it's... I don't think it's... Hitting based off of the speed of the weapon correctly. I could be wrong. I still have to put some more thought into that and, and, and try to figure that out, but... Um, in my head, faster weapons would just make sense, right? The faster weapons you have, the more times you're going to be hitting, which means the more Maelstrom weapon procs that you're going to be getting per minute, right? Which is just more lightning bolts, which is more chain lightnings, which is just more damage. So, if Flame Tongue is equalized across the board, um, if it's a slow weapon or a fast weapon, then in my head, faster weapons just would be better for more Maelstrom procs, right? Dying Curse is an insane trinket. I got this. It says 71 hit, so it allowed me to gem a lot more haste. You'll see if you look through my gems, I just have a lot of haste everywhere. Haste, haste, haste. It's just a lot of haste. Um, haste is, is just amazing for an Ash for Summoned Wrath. And the Brock chance on this is spell power. So that's just absolute juice. Just an absolute juicer of a trinket. This ring is really good. Just Archer Crusade Exalted. This ring is insane too. Yes, I know it has Agi Stam, and I said that you could gem, or you could gear spell power rings but this has 28 hit and 41 haste and it's not like you're losing stats with attack power and agi you're still gaining spell power with attack power and agi right so it's fine um but yeah i don't want to get into the gear too much now with talents there's two there's two different kind of builds that you can go um there's not a lot of big differences this is my pvp specs so don't pay attention to that um ancestral knowledge so the, the really the, the big difference here the big, big difference here. There's a lot of small differences that you can make with, like, if you want shamanistic focus or not, if you want elemental focus or not, um, things like that. But the biggest change is if you want ancestral knowledge or if you can take this, 
if you if you can't if you, if you need enhancing totems in the raid um there's there's a lot of arguments about this and, and conversation going on around this but um i try to avoid taking enhancing totems as an enhancement shaman I know that it increases the damage, the effect of your strength of earth by, but it adds up to 15%, which is a good amount for you and just for the raid in general, right? It makes it better than Horn of Winter. Um, but if you put three points here, you only have two points here, so you're missing, what, 6% of your intellect? Which, 6% 6, 6 of around 14,000 or 15,000, 13,000 mana, however much mana you have, um, is a lot of what you're missing out on. Is attack power by not having good intellect and you're missing spell power by not having good, good attack power so you're missing a lot of damage and you're just missing a lot of attack power and spell power and everything if you don't take five points in this so try to make your breast of shaman take enhancing totems honestly that's that's what i can recommend um you don't need improvement for your totem unless you don't have a frost dk you just don't need this the base Melee haste is 16%. This brings it up to 20%, which improved Icy Talons does anyway, so you just don't need this, okay? Um, a few things that you could change up here is you could put three points into here and not put a point in Shamanistic Focus. Um, but you're not, like, missing a lot of damage by not putting a point in this. Lightning Shield is... is it does good damage with um, Static Shock, which is a talent that is um, added to the Enhancement Shaman Toolkit in Wrath. basically makes... Your lightning bolts, your, your lightning shield have a chance to just do damage to the target, just a six percent chance. Um, but it it I mean it happens often, right? Because you're hitting so fast, so it's good. It does about anywhere from like five, like around five percent of your total damage at the end of a fight, which is amazing. Trust me, this is this is worth taking. But if you look at this, this is just adding five percent more damage to that five percent of your total damage. So it's not insane. I'd rather just make sure I don't go oom. But to be honest, if you're in a twenty-five man, you're not going to really go oom ever. With the uptime of Shamanistic Rage being a one minute cooldown now. Just so many raid buffs and just, man, it's just you just don't really need. Mana is just not an issue for you in 25 mans. But it can be in 10 mans or heroics, right? So it can just be kind of annoying. Um, for the elemental suspect, this is probably what you're going to be looking at. You might not have elemental focus. I don't really know. Maybe you'll have some points of rever rever reverberation. But what I found most successful is concussion. You definitely want three points of element elemental devastation. Three, more, three points of cold flame is a must. Um, five points to Elemental Fury. This is just absurd. <laughs> just insane damage increase. And you definitely want two and improve Fire Nova. Um, and everything else is pretty baseline. I could just scroll through this for you guys a couple times if you want to pause it and just copy and paste this build. But um, Now for add-ons. If you guys want a lot of my add-ons, like the important add-ons that you see me using um, in, in Raid... You can head to my Discord. There will be a link for my Discord in the description of the video. Head to the Discord. Um, go down to the Wrath of the Lich King um, channel of the Discord. And then there should be all my add-ons um, in compressed folders there that you can download. But the most important ones, I'll just show you. I guess they're not super important, but they are really helpful. I mean, it's, it's basically just a weak aura, right? It's called Power Aura. You can find the download in um, my Discord. But it's pretty much just a weak aura, right? And I look at that dying curse procs off of me putting flame tongue weapon on my weapon. I don't know if that's intentional. It also procs me dropping my totems. It has a chance to proc off me dropping my totems. I don't know if that's intentional. I don't know if that's how it's going to work in Wrath. No idea. Um, but it doesn't sound correct. But anyways. Power Aura. Which is this Power Aura's classic right here. Which is a really cool little like weak aura kind of version of an add-on. I just like it just because it's customizable. It, I just have fun with it. Basically what it does is if I don't have Lightning Shield up, it shows a weak aura for it. If I don't have my Magma Totem down, it shows a weak aura, weak aura for it. You see this right here? That is my Meteorite Whetstone procking. And it shows the timer. So I kind of see when I have my Trinkets procked, right? And then this is Cheese. This add-in is called Cheese when you have five stacks of Maelstrom procked. Um, this pops up. Just gives you an instant Lightning Bolt or Chain Lightning, whatever you want. This is Dying Curse right here. And then this is Berserking. I only have Berserking on my weapon. Also, for a chance, you're probably going to want Berserking on both weapons. I think that just has seemed better in the past. Um, but I know Black Magic sounds really fun. You could do Berserking in the main hand, Black Magic in the offhand if you really want. I, I don't know. I, I think Berserk two times Berserking is just better, though. Um, so this is pretty much all Power Ores down here, right? So if I put Lightning Shield up, just a weak aura. I drop Magma Totem. 
I'm good to go. Zerking mirror at Whetstone. Dying Curse is gonna pop up here in the left whenever that rocks. Um, what else do I have? Those are the big ones. Cheese and Power Auras. Which, again, guys, it's just a weak aura, so don't um, get, you know, too confused about it. It's just a weak aura, basically. I use KUI nameplates. I don't know if I'll use that in retail. I might. It's just a prettier looking nameplate, and the nameplates on this server just look really bad, in my opinion. Um, add-ons. I don't really have a lot of add-ons, to be honest. Or uh, macros. It's just third attack on Storm Strikes, third attack on Lava Lash. Um, with Blood Fairy, I just have it mixed with other attack power or haste trinkets or anything, but I just have two proc chances now, so there's really no need for that one. Um, engineering is amazing in Wrath, guys, for this haste buff, for this haste um, enchant on your gloves. That right there just increases your haste by 340. I just have the key bind into T. Um, I have rocket boosters on Ghost Wolf because I'm lazy, but Ghost Wolf isn't an insta cast with this spec, so it's fine, it works. Um, those are the important add ons, at least, or uh, macros. Um, but yeah, I'm not too crazy with the add ons to be honest. I just use ones that I, you know, they're not necessary, but they just help out a little bit. And then my DPS recount is just scatter, so yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. Um, I know this is going to be a little bit longer than I guess I hoped for, but um, I will look at making a more comprehensive guide in the very near future, okay? So, um, yeah, just stay updated to that. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, join the Discord for the add-ons, or if you have any questions, we're having discussions in, um, in that Discord here and there about enhancement shamans. And that is pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you, and I'll catch you uh, next time. Peace.